Adriana Lee was touched at a party and she sued. And we have both statements in which she sued for. Okay, this is kind of be like a double update. And she sued, you know, Miss Kiff, Maya Higa, Crazy Slick. And Maya Higa has yet to submit how much she wants for her lawyer fees because she was dismissed from the case. OTK, they were asking for $72,000. We're going to find out today how much she, they were awarded of the $72,000, if you don't know. Um, but this is one of the statements that she did try to submit as being defamatory. Of what you can deem of it, it's sexual harassment, whatever. At a low scale, it's not really a big deal. I don't think people really gave a shit and really cared. All right, you hear it? Hey, what happened to her was of low scale. It was not a big deal. Well, unfortunately, there was another statement, too, that was uh, that she entered as being defamatory. And it's going to take a little bit of time for it to come up. But this is the destiny uh the phone call, the five hour phone call. Uh, this literally is the phone call that has changed Ms. Kibb's life. Now, sure, he can be, you know, still owner of OTK, making millions. Uh, but this phone call will always haunt him because it has since then a portion of it has been entered into evidence. The person you hear talking is train wrecks and he's talking to Ms. Kibb. They're about Ms. Kibb is about to say something. Did Slick get triggered and talk to you and have you? or Maya or himself message the streamer not to hang out with Adriana. Bro, no. Oh, no. Are you sure? Because Slick, Slick, Slick does not talk to me about that kind of stuff. That's a different answer than you just are, are gave. You sure? that, a, I told, apparently there was proof of DMs of multiple little messaging. Train shouldn't have, shouldn't have revealed that. He should have pushed for a resolute answer before revealing. He needed to wait. He needed to hold that a little longer because now obviously Matt's going to say something different. But streamers that she hangs Do we out have with. the proof? Well, that, that's, it's that's all it's it's all, it's all in this video that I'm I'm what? looking at. It's an unlisted video with like receipts and shit. That's of what I'm what? that's what I'm asking you. It, well, I'm, I'm confused on what you're even asking me. I'm asking you: Were there points where you told streamers that hung out with Adriana not mm -hmm. to hang out with Adriana? Now, this is where the defamatory statement that Adriana is using. Uh, to get Ms. Kiff in this lawsuit is about to come up. Now, he tried to get this this statement um, kicked from the lawsuit, which would have just uh, ended her whole defamation lawsuit. Uh, but the judge felt like it was defamatory, given the text message that she provided uh, with uh, Sear, who you're about to hear. Oh, well... Wait, I'm confused. What contradiction was there on Miz's part? It sounds like Train asked Miz, did Slick ever reach out and tell people not to hang out with Adriana? And Miz immediately said no. And then later he said, well, I, he doesn't talk to me about that kind of stuff. Which is kind of two different answers. Streamers are hanging out... Like, wait, I'm, I told streamers not to hang out with Adriana? Were there points <laughs> that you told streamers or were aware of that streamers were told... Not the to only hang time out with I Adriana. ever did not want to hang out with Adriana is we went to Sixth Street and she was groping Seer and it was very fucking weird. So, so we stopped hanging out with her and then that was it. I okay, so I've been provided with um. Now you heard that statement. That is the statement right there. You like wait that small statement right there that he just said. Yes, that very small minuscule statement right there. Uh, that was it. Points. That you told streamers or were aware of that streamers were told not the to hang out with I Adriana. The only did not want to hang out with Adriana is we went to Sixth Street and she was groping Seer and it was very fucking weird. So, and so we stopped hanging out with her and then that was it. I okay, so I've been provided with um, <clears throat> something for this. Now, this was entered into evidence. <clears throat> this is uh, his real name is Vincent. So this was the whole ordeal. Um, but this is the text message that she submitted to the court to show, hey, Seer never mentioned I groped him. She said, if I made you feel uncomfortable anyway, that was never my intention. He said, it's all good. Now, is Seer about to come back out of the woodwork and say that she groped him? Nope. Probably not. Okay. Now, this went really far. Like, it went so far, Ms. Kiff tried to get this thrown out. The only time I did not want to hang out with Adriana is when we went to 6th Street and she was groping Seer and it was very effing weird and we stopped hanging out with her and that was it. So, because there's two claims. This is the September 10th claim right here. This is the no big deal. 
This is the September 23rd claim, the grope and sear part. The September uh, 10th thing was thrown out, but the September 23rd thing right here, which is the grope and sear, hey, the court finds that plaintiff has established by clear and specific evidence a case for the essential element of her defamation claim as to the foregoing statement about Sear. So this is moving forward. This is why people are like, no, he's off the case. I'm like, not according to this. <laughs> the silver lining is Ms. Kiff can seek attorney's fees for everything that he's been dropped from, from the fraud, from the uh, torturous interference, from the emotional distress. But the defamation is still on the books, okay? And I say, like, this is inconsequential. The The major update is OTK wanted $73,000. you like, God damn. God, damn. They wanted $73,000 in lawyer fees. So as a result, there was a huge back and forth. They had spent, I believe, a little over, what is it, a hundred in one hundred and one and a half hours on the case this was their total for these two attorneys even though this says 63 all the fees and phone calls back and forth it led to seventy two thousand. now adriana tried to get this tossed out and said hey their rates of 650 is way too high it should be around 400 their evidence is is not the best well we do have a verdict now now this came on the 19th right before christmas guys <laughs> right before christmas the judge was like hey adriana i have a christmas present for your ass and she's like well what is it judge well proposed order granting defendant otk Inc. It's motion for attorney fees. You like hell of a Christmas gift, huh? Hell of a Christmas gift. Well, how much are they getting? Hey, you know, this came before the court, you know, OTK Inc. to recover attorney fees because it was dropped under, you know, procedure 91A, which is no basis in law. The court had considered the motion along with the arguments of counsel at the hearing on the 6th and it's granted. It's granted in part. It is therefore ordered in a judge that defendant OTK's motion for attorney fees is granted in part in the furthermore and is ordered her as to pay them a whopping $51,000 in attorney fees. <laughs> Holy shit. And they threw on $45 in cost. You fuck around, you're going to find out. This is why, you know, when people play these lawsuit games, you probably don't want to go up against OTK because they got the money to make your ass pay. I got money. Get your money up, not your funny up. Why do you think when I be talking about OTK, I'll be on eggshells? I know as been watching. I know they watching. Like, we waiting on your ass to slip up, boy. We gonna hit you with a lawsuit, <laughs> like. Um, but there could be a silver lining, even though she is forced to, or well, been ordered to pay fifty one thousand. She still has a case against Ms. Kiff. If she should prevail, she can, you know, maybe a settlement or a judgment in her favor could use that to offset the cost. Now, there is no doubt in my mind that OTK, you got Maya Higa too, um, who has been awarded lawyer fees that we have yet to see how much she wants, can all be used as leverage against Ms. Kiff should he lose or settle i don't know but what do you guys think of this uh huge loss for adriana lee or is it you know because if she lose fifty one thousand here but get you know i think she's suing for six hundred thousand now it's been reduced to six hundred thousand dollars uh that she wants for defamation and the two people on the hook are miss kiff and crazy slick ironically <laughs> I don't know what Crazy Slick's legal defense was, but, you know, he should have took the Maya Higa route because he could have been free and clear from this lawsuit. But what do you guys think? Big win or big loss? <laughs> big win or big loss? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.